Hi guys, Trust Ted here, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley. Subscribe to our channel. This is gonna be another Trust Ted review. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing these and installing these Rally Armor mud flaps for the Model Y. As always, we'll look at the product, the installation, the functionality, and the price value, and then we'll rate it at the end. So let's get started. All right, as I was opening up the package, I found out that um, I thought these were like templates printed out, but actually it turns out it's the instructions. So I printed them out. You don't need to print them out. They come with the kit, which is awesome. All right, now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out these two grommets here um, and the kit comes with uh, two inserts that will go in there. So what I usually have are these like removal tools um, I'll put a link below um, and, you know, something like this type of uh, tool, you just get in there and, and you can um, you can get these the grommet out. Now, sometimes the angle is a little tricky, so like that one doesn't work, but there's one that's kind of a little flatter and straighter, um, which I'm going to try to use just to uh, to show you. So I think this one. This may be better. Yep, you can see that one and it just pops right out. Um, I did clean the area here, but I think once I get these both out, I'm going to clean it again before I get the install of the flap. Something that I really like when I opened it up, it actually has these little divider flaps and I was really careful just to make sure they were correct. So right front, that's what I'm doing here. This is the passenger side front. So, um, you know, if I take this one out, you know, you can see that it's going to go like this, right? And so there's a logo that would show. So um, good. It's nice that they did that. So the uh, right front and the left rear are um, actually divided. And then the other two, you can obviously figure it out because there is a slightly different shape. You can see the rear has this little extra kick there where the uh, fronts do not. The inserts that go into the holes, actually you fold them this way. So they look like this and then you push them in the middle and then you fold it, I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way like that. And then you insert it into the hole. So I will do that and see if we can just show you. Yep, there we go. And then I'll do the other one and then we'll start positioning the mud flaps. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the logo, place it to the rear of the vehicle. Um, and then we're gonna line up here and then get just two screws started into those white grommets that we inserted. So it's a screw and a washer and we're gonna put that through here. Whoops, I'm gonna put that screw and the washer through. Now it's kind of a tight space so you might need a screwdriver like this that has like a bend or some flexibility. You don't wanna be tightening it all the way but you wanna get it going so it's in there reasonably well. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this and show it to you. Let me see if I can move the camera. Um, but basically, you just want to get these started um, and in there. Just got to use two hands here. So just get it in there so it's caught. That's one. I'm going to reach in there. <clears throat> okay, those are started. So that's good. You can still see it's loose. There's play, but it's holding in. And then what you're gonna be doing is lining up this edge here um, on the side with the clips. And once you get it exactly where you want it, then you'll tighten down the screws. Now, um, you have those screws loosely tightened. I put one clip, I didn't actually insert it all the way. Um, basically the way these clips work is um, they actually have a little logo. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, that that's You're gonna insert it like that and it's gonna go in between our, uh, it's gonna go with the flap and then they're uh, behind this little plastic trim piece. So I'll just put it on there just a little bit because I don't wanna go all the way. Basically you wanna put one at the top in the middle and then 
towards the bottom here. I'll probably move this one up a little anyway. Um, if you really want to get crazy, you can take a level. So, you know, I just checked, oh, okay, my garage is pretty level. That's nice. And then you can put this on the bottom. I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but um, yeah, I, I really can't show it to you. But basically, you can um, sort of see there, if I get my finger out of the way, the bubble, um, you know, it shows that, you know, this part of the flap's got to come up. So you can kind of get it adjusted pull it to where you want it where and you see if it's close with the level of the ground and then you can uh, tighten the clips i can't do it with both hands so um let me just do that and then i'll insert the clips all right so i used my level and the mud flap is level at the bottom so i'm happy with how that is positioned um and so now what i did was i slid this whole um, clip forward and now I'm going to hold the mud flap in place and I'm going to get this bottom one positioned in and what happens is as you push this on there's like a lot of grab force um, and it's going to be really hard to take off so the good news is they probably aren't going to go anywhere but um, you know the bad news is if you want to take them off it's going to be difficult so again as I'm putting them on before I it tells you to put the clips in place um, just want to make sure I get the final alignment here get it as flush uh, and level on the bottom as possible. And then, you know, pushing these clips in. Um, whoops, I'm, oh, shucks, I missed that one. So I'm gonna have to carefully try to take it out. Uh, it's, yeah, definitely hard to get it out. Um, what I missed was the back, right? So I didn't get it on the plastic in the back. And so you gotta make sure you push it back there. Okay, that grabbed, this one's on the mud flap is level at the bottom so now i can just go in and tighten those screws down there so i'm just gonna get this right angle screwdriver and just tighten that those screws and this one is done so that's how you do it um it's kind of awkward for me so i'm just gonna tighten it uh and and show you the result just a quick shot on the rear one. So again, as I said, it has that little insert. Same thing, I just took those grommets off, clean the area. Um, and then I'm gonna like put, get those uh, um, inserts, screw, and then get the clamps in place, level it, and then tighten it up. Just figured I would show you what they look like installed. So you can see like the little logo back there. That's on that side and on this side here. All right, so to wrap up the review for the Rally Armor mud flaps, I'm gonna give the product a five. I actually like the flexibility of these. I think it's better than the more rigid ones that you find elsewhere. In terms of installation, those screws are difficult, especially in the back. I showed you the tool. If you have that, it makes it easier. But for the average person, you're gonna need some really small screwdriver, right angle or flexible a shaft. So that's a three for install. In terms of functionality, I'm gonna give that a five. And the reason I say that is I really like the clips, the way that they hold. Um, it's really secure. So um, I, between the flexibility and the security there, uh, that's great. And then in terms of the value, these are more expensive. They're like 2X uh, or a little bit more of others, but I love that they're made in America and I'm gonna give it a four. Uh, yeah, they are expensive, but um, I think these, these are great and they're gonna last a long time. So it's a total of 17. Again, this is Trust Head Tesla owners of Silicon Valley. Subscribe to our channel, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.